Now, I used a, a three-jaw puller to pull it out, and I put a nut up against here so the three-jaw puller didn't get in there and mar up the threads. This is the adapter to install a um, harmonic balancer. What I've got is this piece of pipe. See, this piece of pipe's bigger around, but small enough to catch on the bearing on the hydro on the uh, um, harmonic balancer installation pulley. So what you do is get this up here, tighten this down, and shove that all the way till it's home. And this will allow the snout of the crank to be able to not come in contact with this bearing. This is just a piece of pipe from the uh, hardware store that's cut down and it's the right diameter, see? To go around it and press on the edges. And just like that, it's all the way in and you can just unscrew it. Unscrew it all the way back. Slide that back. Unscrew this whole puller, like so, hold on. It's off. And as I said, this is just a piece of uh, pipe that's cut square on both ends and rides on there. And uh, a lot of people say they'll just tap it on for rubber mallet or I heat it up and it'll just slide on. But why? You got to heat it up. That's a pain in the rear and uh, you have to uh, use gloves or pliers to slide it on. And if you hammer it on, you could side load the crank and break something. I know people's done it hundreds of times and never had a problem, but that's good for them. There's always that one time and this guarantees it's no, it's no problem. And if you already got this far, you probably need a harmonic balancer installation tool anyway, so just uh, do it that way. That's the easy way. Then get your uh, chain lined up and everything put back on there. Tighten, see, next to no slack. Um, I used some blue Loctite in there. doesn't call for it, but better safe than sorry. And tighten these down to 20 foot-pounds. And uh, I got a double roller on here now that's not stretched out. This was the brand I used in case anybody was wondering. I've seen some reviews on the internet of people saying that there's too much play in it. I don't think there is. And a lot of the videos I've seen, um, I don't think people have their cam bolts tightened because there's excessive play. Which there would be if it's not torqued to spec. But yeah, works good. Made in the USA. This is on a small block Chevy. Part number is right there. Later.